All right, everyone, thank you so much for coming, and welcome to the TFCon third party panel. My name is Ryan. Uh, thank you, thank you. Let's get a huge round of applause for the costume contest just finished. That was amazing. Let's go. All right, let's go. So, let's start into it. <laughs> yeah, they're in there. So, make toys. Make toys is making a return. Starting with Tangerine Storm, or Swarm, sorry, and the best name, uh, Paul. Attaboy, Paul! Big hand of applause for Paul. So only 200 pieces per figure worldwide. Uh, almost sold out in the dealer room, and uh, will probably sell out online right after. So if you have any other questions about the upcoming Colorverse uh, project, I'd go see Kurt at TF Source. Uh, he'll have more information there. So, Star Toys. Star Toys had a really cool start with a, like an MP style Blitzwing. Uh, pretty good reviews. Next figure they're going to go into is Tracks. So I think Tracks is one of those hard to do figures. You can't always get it right because it can't always be animation. It can't always be toy, but it does look pretty slick. So to be an MP scale, just a guy to give you an idea of what. The, the cat of the vehicle mode is going to look like his amazing third alt mode. <laughs> it's the best accessory. Some different facial options. I'm sure they'll do different faces in the future with further repaints and retools. And here's a, uh, a preview of a sample just to see the range of flexibility and articulation they plan on building into this figure. And how clean the underside of the car looks. So Owen Studio, uh, Owen Studio has sell out in the display area. This is their version of Primus. Their Unicron was so incredible. Uh, they decided to do Primus as well. Incredible figure, incredibly huge pain to transform. <laughs> it's really cool, but all these little uh, orange bits are tiny little pieces you have to install yourself. And if you have sausage fingers like I do, it is not easy, even with tweezers. But yeah, for, yeah, I need patience is what I need. But it's a solid looking planet mode. It comes with a space bridge that kind of acts like a dock to hold the planet up. Super impressive robot mode. It has uh, magnet activated lights in the chest and in the eyes. It has an alternate head that's also a headmaster that turns into um, Alpha Trion. You can see him there. And in the feet, like I said, in the feet of that little... Uh, figure there, he's got little magnets, you press it over the chest, you rub it on the face and the lights will come on. Pretty cool feature. Uh, they do have a Devastator coming up that they're going to slowly start working on. They do have some prototypes, so more on that in the future. So Robot Toys. Robot Toys is starting off with uh, miniature Legend scale Beast Wars figures. So the last show we actually got a preview of their, their grayscale models. They're almost finished almost ready for retail. So you're seeing some improved colors. Uh, Caesar's done. They're working on Tyrant. Uh, they improved some of the colors on Tyrant. So it's going into production. They should be released fairly soon. But they'll have different uh, hand accessories. I believe uh, this Megatron is a pre-order bonus. Comes with his hunting rifle and a toothbrush. <laughs> uh, a lot of die cast metal in them. Pretty impressive for a legend scale figure. It's like four inches. Where's the duck? That's too much to ask. They just skyrocket the prices. But they look really sharp together. I like that grin. I can't say the word I want to say, but it's a good looking grin. Magic Square have been on a roll as well. They did an amazing Bruticus. They're starting off with their, uh, they're releasing Dinobots, uh, very animation accurate. So they're starting with Grimlock. <laughs> they have Sludge coming. 
very clean lines. Again, they're legend scales, but they're going to be a little bit bigger. That slag, he looks good. I like the back wings. One thing I'd like to see Magic Square start to do is give optional hands. I'd like to see some more splayed options for hands. You can see them here together as a team. They still have uh, the other two in development. This is an update on their Grimlock. It's coming along well in the test shot. He's pretty big. You can see him there next to their, uh, their Optimus. There he is dummying a, a Gears prototype. I don't know what that thing is. Maybe a McNugget buddy? I can't tell. But it looks cool. I like where they're going with it. I like the, the smooth tune lines. And he's just relaxing. Make an angel. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Snow Angel. New Age. New Age is everyone, yeah, very much the, vocally the fans have kind of said they're everyone's favorite legend scale. The next one they're announcing is Keaton. It's going to be a retool of their Trailbreaker, obviously. And here's a little teaser and then some. So Keaton and this guy right here in the back. So keep an eye on New Age, always coming up with impressive molds, very good quality products, and really smart transformations. Metagate, Metagate did an amazing shatter. I'm not sure if anyone has seen it yet. It's probably my favorite figure last year. Dropkick next, from what I heard. They are making Dropkick next. Yeah. So Blue Boy is still in development. Uh, please keep an eye on their socials uh, and on uh, TFW. They'll update when, uh, whenever those go live. So this is, uh, this is all they were able to show for the moment, but it will be a triple changer. No parts forming. Uh, look forward for more from them. Iron Factory. Iron Factory have been incredible. They sent us a, a bunch of samples for the case, so thank you very much to Iron Factory for that. They sent us uh, the Fallen. So that's actually out in the case right now if you haven't seen them. Uh, all those little translucent fire bits are, are posable. Everything's like on a ball joint or on a swivel, so you can make the flame effects do what you want. Uh, the big sword is incredible. Uh, in this sample, it looks painted, but in the case, it's, it's more of a translucent plastic. Their Samurai Series Sideswipe uh, just recently came out. Uh, they have a sample of that in the case as well. He is going to be joined by his brother Sideswipe and mold mate uh, Red Alert as well. Sideswipe, or sorry, uh, Sunstreaker will be a new mold. So they're doing uh, the Lyo Kaiser combiner team. We have that out in the case as well. They have... Uh, two resin prototype arms and the, uh, the upper torso and legs are finished. So Jargua here uh, will be part of the breast force. His, the gimmick is there, the, the chest comes off, turns into the animal and turns into a gun, but they also gave accessories. So if you want to have like a more accurate cartoon looking gun, they gave you that as well and they gave you a, a f like a full chest. It's like the, you could have the beast and you could also have the chest. So it's pretty neat. They give you a lot of different options. They give uh, different hands, different weapons. So you see these pretty big, cool looking claws and war fans. Pretty tight looking dune buggy. You can see there just an example of the, the Breast Force gimmick. And there's just a, a good idea of how the combined mode looks and what parts will come with Jargua. Next up is Lyozak. Lyozak also has the gimmick where the chest turns into the, the beast partner and a weapon. They all come with parts um, to build the larger weapons, the big gun, the big uh, spear. Excellent design, cool looking head sculpt. Next up is DX9 Mini. Now DX9 Mini has been working with Magic Square. Magic Square has actually been helping them produce their figures and get them back onto the market. So DX9 Mini is going to start off next. They just did Double Dealer and they're going to be bringing out uh, What's his name? Michael? I think they call him, uh, it's Michael something. something. Michael Murphy, thank you. It's Michael Murphy, just their version of a legend scale chrome dome. Highly articulated. Got the little power reader in the chest. The headmaster transforms. I'm always impressed by how much detail you can get into these smaller figures. To give you an idea of scale, the headmaster does still fit in the cockpit. It transforms, if very, you know, very rudimentary. But here he is, just as a preview, with a double dealer that was recently released. They're going to be doing God Jinrai, and you can see a, a copy of their brainstorm coming up as well. So keep an eye out more. We should see more of these in the future. Hopefully, we'll see the the complete uh, God Bomber set as well. Unique Toys. Unique Toys have been doing a lot of cool stuff. They have an amazing Dino coming out. 
And the trans it, it looks like it would just be a nightmare to transform, but the transformation is so smooth. There's a couple of uh, videos out there right now just previewing how it works. It flows really well. Uh, you can see the different accessories, the arm blades, the whips. Highly detailed. I'm really interested to see what this looks like in hand. You see the different ways you can position the uh, back wings. Very poseable. Beautiful car mode. It doesn't even look like it transforms. Look sharp from all angles there. You can see their previous lockdown. I think it was Peru Kill. Or sorry, was that Hot Rod? That was Hot Rod. Just a better idea of a uh, closer look at the back. Some of the details on the, uh, the, the gears, the internal parts. It really does look sharp. So I like that Unique Toys is carrying on with more movie aesthetic figures. You can see it there with uh, some other Studio Series line and uh, mainline stuff. <laughs> so they're going with mud, mud flapping skids. Very controversial characters, but they're going to give it a shot. No word yet on if this is going to be a single release figure or if it's going to be a two pack. You can see here what it looks like underneath, how compact it's going to be, and both of them. And the details when you open the doors. <laughs> Big fan of mud flapping skids back there. So they look like they have highly articulated uh, builds, just like any other of these masterpiece style toys. Hand articulation and accessories. And they'll be hosable. They look good together. I'm not sure we'll ever get an official update of these guys, so this might be your only chance. But he scales well. Or the, the team will scale well with him, with the official stuff. Looking forward to seeing more painted picks, more completed uh, color palettes, and to see what they look like. I want to see what they look like in hand. I want to see how well they can pose and hold their own. But they're looking good. Kang Toys. Kang Toys have been doing some really cool Dinobots. Uh, they did amazing uh, Predacons. They just released Steg Sorrow, their version of uh, Snarl. Next up, they're doing Tear Owl, and that's their version of Swoop. It is and it isn't, but it's still a really cool version of the Dinobots. And it will combine into a large robot as well, just like their uh, Predaking. See some of the different options with the weapons and the play styles they'll have. I like the, uh, the beak kind of recessed into the chest. It's something different. Like, this is the stuff that's exciting me. Like, I, I love G1, sure, but I want to see something different. And this kind of checks all the boxes. Do not chest bump. Yeah, no chest bumps. <laughs> you can see there in its pterosaur mode. Very impressive wingspan. And a lot of good details. Here he is as a big beefy arm. It's very clean looking. And you can see the hand turns into a little spider crab. So Mechanical Skull Studio, uh, they recently did a Armada style Starscream. Uh, little legend scale, very articulated, and they're gonna keep going with that mold. So they're gonna try doing Ramjet. It's gonna have a couple of retools to it. It's gonna have a new drone. It doesn't transform into a robot per se, but it does still turn into sort of a weapon. Uh, you can see it folded up here on the back. Uh, new head design. So the drone can be assembled on either figure's forearms or the tail fin and back. It also comes with a new pair of posing hands. And he'll still have the, the different wing accessories. See the different look of the drone accessory attached to the arm. They're also going to do a Thundercracker Deco. 
come with a uh, clear translucent molded sword and a small figure to go with it. So they're a small team. It's a small team uh, that are working on these figures. Uh, they do plan on doing more Armada series figures, but they also want to go in a different direction with it as well. They don't want to just stick to one series. They want to try doing more things. So um, they're working hard uh, and they will have more updates shortly. And Dreamstar Toys. Dreamstar also has been doing G1 figures that aren't exactly G1, something to kind of break the mold a bit. So they have uh, one of their last figures uh, coming out here in top raid. It's uh, almost like a, a realistic color palette, very detailed uh, transformations uh, that also combine into a very impressive looking Superion. Really slick looking jet. A lot of panels, you gotta have a lot of patience for stuff like this, because it's, it's not a quick thing. But the payoff, I think, is there. Uh, it's an amazing looking uh, jet mode. It has really impressive looking robot mode. You can see here how strong the hand joint is in, uh, in combined mode. Here you can see all the different components. The left leg of Exodia, the right leg of Exodia. All the different uh, limbs in their own versions. It's a great looking combined mode. Nice and uniform. So this should be releasing soon. Um, most of the figures are out now. I think the last two are still coming, but it looks like it's in the final stages. You know, and maybe some people want more of a G1 look. Maybe they'll do a repaint after, but I think this is a really cool start and something to separate themselves from everyone else. The last thing we need is another Superion War. You can see the optional uh, faceplate. X-Trans bots, so they're actually starting their own mini line. We had this hotspot in the case last year, just as a rough prototype. Um, so their Vanguard is gonna be a legend scale combiner. To give you an idea of how the shell will work for the combined mode. They included this cool little 3D turnaround to show how their hotspot might look from different angles. Going on next to their version of Masterpiece Ironhide that they call Ron. <laughs> Fantastic name. See here, different uh, chest plate options. It looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm sure that's coming. It'll include a pack of firecrackers. So it looks like it's gonna have all the accoutrement that uh, people are kind of expecting from this figure. It's gonna have a lot of articulation. It'll have a ton of accessories. It'll have the battle sled. Uh, it'll come with its uh, drill arm, the shoulder cannon, the acid spitting hand options, blast effects. It's a fairly clean looking robot mode, clean looking back. It's a really nice uh, face sculpt, pretty poseable. Here you see a, a good litany of the, the options. So it's got the skis. I love the Marvel Comics face, the red face. I think that looks super cool. Uh, backpack, the radar dish. You can see all the accessories kind of plugged into that battle platform sled. Backpack plugs in to the backpack. Hat on a hat, but it looks good. It's clean. So it's gonna have a lot of different accessories for people that want to recreate those looks in their own display. The shoulder cannon he used once, but it's neat, it looks good. And there's those blast effects that are coming out of the fingertips. Ironhide's one of those hard figures to pull off. You, there's always only so much you can do to get that chest to look smooth all the way around. See here the the metal detector, his uh, acid shooting hands, the drill accessory that can mount on his uh, shoulder or on his arm. I'm not someone that loves a ton of accessories, but for something like this, I think it looks good. It gives you a lot of different display options, a lot of, much, uh, a lot of playability to it. The blaster looks perfect. Here you can see him pose with MP44, just to give you a, a scale of the size. A rocket pack and, and uh, you know, blast effects. They put a lot of uh, care into these photos, they look good. Ski effects look nice, I like the little, the water waves coming off the skis. I love that Marvel head. 
I would probably buy that just for the Marvel head. I think it looks fantastic. Mad drop kick. And obviously he's going to be accompanied by his waver or his mold mate Ratchet. I think they call him Ratcliffe. You can see his uh, Marvel head there. There's Ratliff in, uh, in vehicle mode. It's slick. It holds together well. It, I like the shape and proportions. I like the metallic rims. Here you see a good turnaround, 360 of Ratliff in uh, all modes. Very clean looking robot mode. I, I dig it. Yeah. Next to Fan Stories. Yeah. So, uh, last time we, uh, we were able to preview their version of Ultra Magnus called Marg. Very clean looking robot mode. And it is uh, an outer shell to go with an inner robot. You can see here the inner robot. Very clean looking. Incredibly articulated. It looks incredible in these pictures. I could never do this and make it look good. Everything in my collection would be broken if I tried to post stuff like this. Not a chance. Interacting with other uh, fans toys figures. Beautiful looking pair. See the size comparison between a different inner robot and the completed model. Lots of articulation, lots of range of motion. Looks amazing from the back. Looks amazing from all sides. Here you get an example of the separation of uh, components in vehicle mode. Some pretty cool options for head molds and uh, battle damage. We've got the bobble of leadership in his chest. Very, very impressive looking vehicle mode. Mark's looking sharp, but we gotta say goodbye. On to the next. Right. Personally, my favorite Constructicon. Very uh, clean lines. Uh, typical masterpiece scale figure from Fans Toys. The team is looking very good so far. So what's everyone's thought on how long this will take to come out? 23 years. Maybe. <laughs> you know what, it might take a long time, but I think good things are worth the wait. <laughs> yeah. It'll be a long wait though. Fans always has this amazing way of bringing their characters to life in their uh, photography. And it's such a cool feeling to see them in hand. The team looks great, the colors look great, the head sculpting is great. I can't wait to see this figure in hand. You see here just a, maybe a, a slight idea of how it's going to connect. I love the look of that hand. I love the, the way they gave it the option for that thumb and the meat of the hand to move. Some different options to clean up the, the scoop on the, on the combined mode. Really cool looking alt mode too. It just, it feels uh, like the old Toyo does. But this isn't all from Fans Toys. Fans Toys also has another thing to kind of debut. <laughs> yeah. Who had this on the bingo card? Yeah, I did. <laughs> so War Horse. Another incredible looking Ironhide. <laughs> so another Ironhide option. Another Ratchet option. A lot of cool uh, posability. It's going to have different faces and different accessories as well. Obviously, these are early renders. Right. Does he come with skis? That's the real question. He better. <laughs> finger guns. Yeah, finger guns. He needs all of it. He needs all the accessories. He needs a whole blown up torso. Just the lower legs and ashes. But it looks really slick together. I want to go back just to look how clean that back end and side view look as well. It's nice to see the, the inside cleaned up as well. It's a very difficult thing to pull off. 
There's no wheels hanging off his butt. That's a plus. Lots of different head uh, sculpt options. They're still missing a head sculpt. I want to see one that's just John Connor T2 looking T2000 exploded head. I want to see just a blown up one. Beautiful sculpting, beautiful look to the profiles. You can see the way that the, the hip skirts move as the legs move to kind of give you more range of posability. Very clean looking vanette. Opening doors are always a plus. Doc. Same, you know, next verse, same as the first. Looks good. They play off each other very well. They're going to look great in any collection together. I love the different head sculpts. Specifically that head just yells personality. Doc's vehicle mode's looking good too. You see the battle platform, repair bay, whatever you want to call it. Butt end of the joke. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. So Mastermind, MMC, uh, they had an uh, amazing uh, exclusive out today. They had their versions of uh, Flipside and uh, Rosanna. So these were uh, available, I think they still have some at the Toy Dojo Ages 3 and Up booth for sale. Pretty incredible mold. I like the uh, very animated head look of Harmony. There's also Melody. I got a nice option for people that want those uh, extended characters in their collection. So they've been going hard with the Perfection Series. Uh, their team leader, Ignis, is almost ready to go. Looking pretty sharp in both modes there. You can see he's got his repair bay mode. Dude's got Scott Steiner looking arms. <laughs> yes. Freak. But it looks amazing. Uh, these all-in-one combiners, the Perfection Series, there's no need to have kibble. There's no need to have pieces that will go missing because it all blends, it all transforms from one place. Uh, you don't need to misplace a fist or a foot. And I know their Bruticus did come with the accessory pack to give it a more toy look. So yeah, those are accessory add-ons. But yes, everything should be included in it. You'll have different face options, different head options. You can see here, just as an example with the other, the first two figures they've released, uh, they will be doing updates coming for uh, Blades and Groove. You can see the different options, popped collar or no popped collar. Flipping over to the Decepticon side of things. Demolitor, they actually had these uh, samples out at the Toy Dojo booth. So they had some resin prototypes in uh, robot and vehicle mode. Again, it's gonna be an all-in-one combiner, so this will turn into the leg of Devastator or whatever they wanna call them, <laughs> the material fabrication team. Deletus will be their construction engineer. I'm interested to see how well this whole combiner will be when it's done. I'm, I'm told it will have just as much articulation and posability as Optus Pexis. It'll be their, their most impressive feat of engineering. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how this all turns out. The leg mode's looking sharp. You can see the silhouette teasing the combiner. Don't we just, just uh, no more tease. Destructor looks great. So, <laughs> more Combaticons. <laughs> Another option for people who wanted uh, Baldigus. You can see there it'll have the, uh, looks like it comes with the accessory pack uh, pieces. So more on that in the future. If you notice down here it says, Pending convention exclusive. Ah, my fingers are crossed. <laughs> so we're going to round out the, uh, the presentation here with Fans Hobby. They've been amazing to work with. Um, they have our, uh, our convention exclusive wingman. Um, I don't know if there's any left. Uh, I know there was a pretty good lineup this morning for it. Their G2 line has continued and, and hopefully we can continue more in the future. There, you see here that using the FEC system stands, 
I love the colors. I love the effort they made into retooling the head, given in the different guns. Still comes with uh, power pilots. Teammates looking good together. The combined mode that if I had that as a kid, I would have went nuts in that color. That would have been so cool. But G2 was what it was. Here you can see the uh, Chosen Prime Get Right Robot Fans Hobby collab figures that have been released so far, and they look incredible. The Saber team, we actually have the prototypes for these out in the display case as well, um, in their individual robot modes and in the combined Saber mode. I love Minicons, I want more Minicons, do them all. I love these teams. The handle will come with a, uh, a movable um, hilt, so you can have the, the sword not get in the way of everything. And you see here the weapon mode. Uh, these are test shot colors, obviously. They will have more detail when it's complete. Uh, it says, also the handle diameter is five millimeters, which can fit to other figures as well. These are color test shots without imprint or spray paintings. You can see how, look, uh, how, how well it looks with their naval commander and in the combined mode. We do have the naval commander with uh, their jet fire, the, the jet pants out in the uh, display area as well. Blaster team coming along nicely. Consists of three transformable robots that also are vehicle modes. That didn't come out right. The vehicle modes are cool, and they also combine into a big ass gun. It has a bipod mode. Looks good in uh, naval commander's hands or power commander. And they'll be doing uh, the whole team to give you an idea of uh, what they have coming. It looks like the, the shield team will actually come with a cover that can go over it as well, or an optional shield. They have Black Naval Commander out in the case. You can see that uh, rampage mode with the blown apart face and the optional faceplate there as well. It's a solid looking robot, solid looking vehicle mode. Comes with its own uh, repainted minicon or mini robot. Hopefully they do other repaints to go with the combined mode. I would love to see uh, a repaint of the jet fire and a repaint of the overload to go with it. Black Naval Commander in its uh, base mode and some test shot progress on their uh, upcoming figure. See the other minicons that go with it and the action on deck. So more to come from uh, Fans Hobby in the future. That wraps it up, folks. Thank you very much for coming out. We really appreciate it.